Let's go over how to create a repeating pattern. As you can see, I've created a square here with a bunch of shapes on it, and this is not going to work. I'll show you why. With my swatches panel open, I grab all of these shapes together, and I drag them into this panel, and it got added to my swatches. Then I create a brand new shape, and with my fill to the front, I click on this, so you see that it didn't work. So we're going to get rid of that one, get rid of that swatch, and let's just clear this fill. Okay, we need to put a, an invisible box behind this box. So I select this square, copy and paste in back. So Command C, Command B, or if you're on a PC, it would be Control C, Control B. And then with that box still selected, I fill, I change the fill to none. Okay, so let's see if this works now. Grab all that, bring this into the swatches panel. It got added. Let's create a brand new shape and change it or fill it. Click on here. Okay, so it got better. It's my repeating pattern, but then now you'll see that there's a lot of broken shapes, incomplete shapes. So have part of a blue circle here, part of a blue star here, part of a blue triangle here. And the reason why that didn't work is, let's get rid of all this first and clear that, is because these um, shapes cannot extend past four sides. So the easiest thing to remember is you can only overlap two sides total only two sides, and those two sides have to be touching. So you can either overlap on the bottom and the right, so the star and the circle can be here, or you can do the circle and the triangle, see how these two sides are touching, or you can do the triangle and the circle here, so the top and the left sides are touching, where the last one is you could have overlapping shapes on the left and the bottom but not across from each other, not three sides, and definitely not four sides. So let's fix this. Let's just move these shapes away from the edge so that we only have shapes on the right and the bottom that are overlapping. Okay, now we need to do something before we put it into our swatches panel. We need to repeat the overlapping shape on its opposite side. Okay, so the bottom of this star, or this bottom star has to be repeated up here. And I know what you're thinking, she just said you can't have it on all four sides. But if you can imagine that everything that's inside this square, or that's inside that invisible box that we created at the beginning, that's going to be repeated. So the reason why the swatch didn't work before when we added it over here is it was missing that bottom section. It was missing that outer section. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out here. And with everything selected, I hold down my Option and Alt key together. Sorry, Option and Shift key together. And move it up there. Let go. Okay. And then I'm going to delete everything that I don't need. So everything that's not touching that first black square will be deleted. And if you need help seeing where it is, then just go to View Outline. Okay, this helps you see it a little bit better. So we're going to select everything that's not touching that first square. So all we needed to do really was to repeat the star. Delete twice. Okay. Now. As I was doing it, I saw that there was a slight gap here. So actually what I'll do is move this first, including the star, and just line it up a little bit better. Okay, then I go back to my direct selection tool, grab everything but that star. Remember the star has to remain there. Delete that. Okay, then we need to repeat this circle over here. And we can't just arbitrarily just throw it and hopefully that it lines up. We need to use that box to help guide it to make sure that, it, that it's in perfect position. So Alt, Shift, or Option, Shift. Scoot that over. I'm using my arrows on my keyboard to line it up. Direct selection. Delete everything but 
the circle or whatever is overlapping that side. Delete twice. Okay, and then go back to preview. All right, so now we have the invisible box behind this black square. Remember to do that. All we did was select the box, send it to the back, or copy send to back, and then um, make sure the fill was none. But we already did that, so we don't need to do it again. Okay, now, now let's see if this works. So we grab all these shapes, drag this into the swatches panel, click so that nothing is selected, and create a brand new shape. And let's fill it with this new swatch. Okay, so it's a little bit better. Some things that I don't like is like how the triangle is right in the corner here. Um, I, I generally try to keep the shapes away from the edge. Like even this looks sort of funky to me, but we don't have to recreate it. We can just double click on the swatch and we can edit it. So maybe I move this around. Actually, maybe I'll delete it. Um, maybe I'll move this in here somewhere. So that's um, a nice way to edit what you just created. Okay, and it sort of shows you a preview of what you're doing, what it's going to look like. So I can see, gosh, there's a big gap here. So maybe I'll move this here. Or like that. Whatever. Hopefully you get the idea. Um, the other thing is you can change colors while you're in this mode. So let's just add that one bright hot pink triangle that doesn't match anything. And you can even change the color of the square. So let's get this puke green. That doesn't match anything at all. Okay, but <laughs> sorry, ignore my colors. 